Okay, making another quick video here. I don't know how quick it is, but anyway, I made a video a couple years ago showing how to make a homemade air cleaner. I'm just going to make another one here with a, a few more points to add. And I've seen showing the other video how to make that. And here's another another way to make it. Here's another HEPA filter. This one's made by Sears. And to make this homemade air cleaner, to seal up the bottom like I've shown before, that is um, a plastic lid from a big ice cream pail. I just cut the lip off of it and uh, sealed it up with uh, foil deck tape. So it looks like so. A nice hole right there. And all you do basically, the simplest way to do it is to take your fan. This is a fan by Illicent 309 CFM. The simplest way to do it, you just need your fan and your filter. Just go like this and just plunk it right in the hole like so. Just like that. And you'd want to get some tape in there, get some foil duct tape or whatever and just kind of seal off where it joins in. A little bit of air, pi air, pi air bypass there on the suction is no big deal. A vacuum cleaner um, air bypass is a big deal because you're vacuuming up concentrated dirt. But a home air cleaner is not a critical. I'm going to tape it up and that's all, you, all there is to it. Another option is you can use a reducer. You don't have to, but sometimes uh, it makes it easier. If you have a really big hole, like a bigger filter, you need a reducer. Same thing. You put it on top and you would tape it or seal it however you want. This is a, to a six inch opening and the fan would just sit on top. Like so. There you go. It sits on top just like that. You can do that. They have different size reducers. These reducers are made by CanFan. Here is a four inch reducer. Okay, and that's all there is to it. And you want to pre filter it always. This pre filter is made by uh, 3M. I'll show you that quick. This is called Filtreat, electrostatically charged uh, filter here. You get these at your hardware stores, Home Depot, or whatever. And it's very thin stuff. You just cut it to shape and use it as a pre filter. Change it every few months whenever you feel that it's getting dirty. There's no magic time to change it. If you see the dirt's getting really caked on, uh, then, then change it. You can also use the uh, carbon stuff. You can get, they come with uh, filters, you can get the generic stuff. That's the carbon free filter. It's supposed to remove odors, but not really, but it's just for big particles to protect your HEPA filter. Change it every three months or whenever it gets uh, a caked on layer dirt. No magic time to change it. It's up to you. Um, when your filter gets to be old and you're going to be uh, changing it soon, on your very last round for your HEPA filter, don't bother pre-filtering it. Just run a naked HEPA filter. Same goes with a, a commercial uh, air cleaner. When changing the HEPA filter, your pre-filter for your last time, don't bother with a pre-filter. You're just wasting your money. Um, another option for filters are... This is one meant by CVAC. This is meant for Pullman Holt industrial vacuums. These filters, unlike the uh, Honeywell and the Sears filters, these ones are certified to meet HEPA specs. They're DOP tested. And it's for a commercial vacuum cleaner. This one's fairly large. As you can see how big it is. It's got an opening. And the same thing, all you do is plunk your fan on top of here, like so, and pull the air through and put your pre-filter on. Simple as that. And these meet HEPA specs, as, like I said, the Honeywell ones don't. Another option I'm going to do here is this, uh, this is an ULPA filter, ultra low penetration. This one's meant to use by Tiger Vac vacuums. It's certified, tested to ULPA specs, 99.99% of 0.16 microns and larger. So uh, the only thing with these filters is they filter so tightly such small particulate matter that they restrict airflow quite a bit. And the CFM rating is only, I think, 100 on these. Same with the Pullman Holt uh, filter. It's only rated at uh, 100 CFM, so you never want to use a big fan like this. You want to use a smaller fan like this. This fan is cheaper. It's made by CanFan. It's only 120 CFM, uh, which should do the trick. And with a smaller filter, any smaller filter, whether it's all power or HEPA, you're going to be changing these a lot more often because they're going to load up with dirt faster because it's just less surface area. Uh, that's why whenever possible, the bigger your filter, yeah, the better. So with HEPA filters, get the biggest model that you can. 
Um, and you can also stack these too if I wish I can basically put two of these together and stack them and have like uh, more surface area say if I had a larger fan even like that that would work too and uh, something else that's critical this one here is loaded up with dirt that pre-filter I've been running that pre-filter for close to a you know close to a year it doesn't look too dirty but it is if I was just to bump that thing or knock this thing over it would re-release a lot of concentrated highly concentrated dirt and microscopic dust into the air which is uh, why you have to be very very careful with these homemade air cleaners um, you know one thing to do to protect it you could build yourself a homemade enclosure out of wood and put holes in it don't use plywood because it off gases another option I'm considering here for this next one um, simplicity is always good so here's a milk crate this is a standard 12 inch milk crate here so what I'm going to do is basically put the smaller HEPA filter inside like that and when I'm moving it around it'll protect it and my fan would just go basically on top like this if that uh, filter is too short for the milk crate I'm just going to add some wooden blocks I got some uh, wooden blocks to put under underneath here to make that uh, filter taller so basically the whole thing will sit inside this milk crate and that will protect the uh, enclosure from getting bumped around because it's very very important with these homemade air cleaners you don't want to be bumping around uh, this one's protected here but even so uh, you got to handle these commercial ones with care too because if you take this and you plunk it down rough you can't see it but you're going to re-release -re a lot of dirt so and when changing these things always take them outside the change in same with this always always take your air cleaner outside to change it and handle it with very good care because really your HEPA filter in a short period of time is going to be the absolute dirtiest thing in your house and uh, you don't want to re-pollute your air and what I did with this one is I just used some uh, twine to kind of hold it in here I mean it doesn't look too pretty but um, you know that's not the purpose of it, it's not an ornament right and it cleans the air and it does so very well I used a smaller filter for this one it's hard to see but that filter is made by Denso it is a, uh, a car cabin filter um, supposedly it re reduces the ultrafine particles but the manufacturer doesn't list any specs of it so that's pretty much all there is to it stick it into the back there um, another note before I forget did they mention my other video when using a fan no matter what fan you're using make sure you never use a fan that uh, that uses a brushless motor I mean a brushed motor because the brushed motors have a carbon brush that actually rubs on a copper copper wiring or whatever and it actually wears out and releases ultrafine particles into your air so these these ones here are all brushless type so I don't know much about motors but uh, I do know that never use a brush type motor for your uh, home air cleaning project and if you have any more questions or any more suggestions about how to make enclosures um, or air filtering uh, just let me know if you have any concerns any uh, questions let's get back feel free to comment